Hey, what's up everybody? This is Stack Trace. Today I'm going to show you how to take Reaper and use it with Reason in such a way that you can take your Reason sequence files and you can dump them into individual uh, two-track pairs in Reaper. So the way we'll do that um, is we'll start out by opening Reaper and I'm going to create a new track. Sorry, insert a new track. We'll call this one Reason Master. And in the FX section of that track, we go to Rewire and we select Reason. Okay, so now I've opened up uh, Reason. I'm going to open up a track that I have already done, which has multiple parts. I think this one has about six tracks, so about uh, sorry, six instruments, so about 12 tracks. So for now, let's just minimize Reason. And go back to Reaper. Actually, let me go back to Reason and count those tracks, sorry. Um, I'm going to go to the sequencer. And I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, five tracks. So that means I'm going to add five over here in uh, Reaper. One, two, three, four, five. That's Control T for Windows users, and it's Option T in Mac. So we're going to call each one of these Reason one, two, uh, three, four. Sorry, a little typo there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have my track set up. So I want to go into the I.O. of the Reason Master and I want to turn off Master Parent Send. And uh, because I have five tracks. I'm sorry, five instruments coming from Reason, that means I have 10 audio tracks. So I'm going to select 10 track channels here. And then I'm going to take a send. This, again, I'm on the Reason Master, and I'm going to make a send for each one of those instruments. So Reason 1, 2, Reason 3, 4, Reason 5, 6, Reason 7, 8, Reason 9, 10. And now in each individual send, I want to select the audio. So I've already got for one for reason one two I've got audio one two for reason three four I want to select audio three four reason five six stereo source is five six and so on and finally nine ten stereo source is nine ten so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So now all I have to do is go back here to uh, Reason, and I have to rearrange some stuff in the rack because of the way that I have it wired. I originally did not do this track with Reaper, but now I decided that I wanted to bring it into Reaper. So this was a standalone Reason track that I'm changing here. So what I do there is I go to Audio I.O., and I tab to get the back side of it. And you can see the master section, the master out is currently going to 1 and 2. So everything's being mixed into the master section, and then I'm taking my master out into the audio I.O. of 1, 2. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to separate my tracks. So we're going to get rid of those. And drum track, I want to maximize the mix section of my drum track. So as you can see, the combinator for the drum is rolling into my mix track, uh, is rolling into my mix panel. So I want to take that and drag that to 1 and 2. So again, this is instrument number 1, which is drums, going to 1 and 2 of the audio output at the top. So my next instrument is a combinator. So I want to look at the mix section of that one, and you can see my combinator is going to the input there. So I want to take that out and bring it up here. Same thing for the right channel and keep on doing that for all my tracks. So the next track down that I have is uh, the bass. It's kind of hard to see with all these wires here. Bass is uh, actually mono. 
I believe in this case this one is mono, but we'll see. No, actually that one is stereo, okay. So let me grab the other side of it. Now we got this track called bells. Again, take the output of the bells and route it to a new channel up here at top. And then finally, I've got this track down here, uh, Piano Synth, same deal. So you do this for each one of your instruments in Reason. Almost done here. Okay, so now we've got everything wired up, so we're ready to go. So we go back to Reaper, and for each one of these, uh, tracks, we want to right click them and select the record output to be stereo latency compensated. So I'm going to right click on each one of these record output stere stereo latency compensated. Now what I'm going to do is arm each track and then we're ready to go. So all I do in this case now is press play. And actually I want the BPM uh, to be, uh, for this one I think it was more like 80. Um, the default BPM is 120 in Reaper, but I, I believe for this reason track I had it around 80 or something. So I'm just gonna put it at 80. And then we hit record. So there you can see the drum track printing at the top. That's my reason one, two channel. I'm just going to fast forward into the track so you can see uh, some more instruments there. For some reason, bells isn't coming through. I'm going to have to check that. Let's go to measure 16 where that combinator comes in. And nothing's coming through for some reason. So let me see what's going on here. Let's do some troubleshooting. I know exactly what it is. I forgot to select on the Reason Master, so let's go to Reason Master at the top. I forgot to tell you this step. Uh, select Effects, and then go to your Audio from Rewire tab. Because what you're doing is you're taking the rewire output for uh, each of these channels, and you're taking it to a track channel. So mix left and right is hard to, tr to channel one and two. We've got to do the same thing for all the other channels. So for channel three, I'll map it to channel three. Channel four is four all down the line. Whoops. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now I got those mapped out. It should work. Let me go to the beginning of the track. I'm going to select everything and delete it since none of this was correct. And let's try this again. Now I've got a sound on uh, channel 7 and 8, and a sound on channel 1 and 2. That's my drums. So now at this point I could rename it drums. And then uh, you know, here I've got this kind of synth 1, we'll call that. Okay, another instrument hasn't come in yet, so let's fast forward to here. seeing these tracks printed to my screen right now because uh, it just hasn't shown up yet. It's a little latent. But you can see my VU meters at the bottom are all hitting, except I don't have anything on Reason 3 yet. So that's it. Let's hit stop. Go to the beginning. And there you can see all my WAV files. So at this point, I could close out um, my Reason instance, my rewire instance, because I don't need it anymore. So close it, and I'm not going to save the changes because I normally use this Reason track standalone. In other words, I don't use it with Reaper, so there's no need for me to make to save those changes where I connected those cables. 
So I'm not saving those changes. You could save another copy of it um, and call it, you know, uh, you know, specify some way that you know uh, you mean to use it with Reaper, but I'm not going to do that. So now I'm just going to go back to uh, Reaper and, and play my song. Zoom out a little bit. Go farther into the track. Here's some of those other parts. And that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, my name is Stacktrace. You can follow me on Twitter at RealStackTrace. Or you can check me out on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash ptmp93. Thanks for listening.